Ever since his bizarre birth, Pino Man has attracted attention. After a long haul, the world's only performing pineapple eventually has become a rock cult guru. In San Francisco, Backstage Pass discovered Pino Man and spoke with him through his devoted interpreter. He exerts a sort of animal magnetism, I think, that most people find rather attractive. Um, although most of the people that find him attractive are, are well, misfits. Pino Man had a difficult childhood, and his high school days were no better. After an unfortunate tragedy involving his girlfriend, Pino Man decided to devote his psychotic energy to music, and the rest is history. He also seems to, to give something to people's lives that they, they normally can't find in, in other outlets, as, such as school or a church or skateboarding. I think he's probably the greatest man on this earth. I say he's got a lot of pep, but he knows what he's doing. Words fail me to describe his voice. It's so, it just sends you into another world. <laughs> he's just macho man. Macho man. <laughs> he's doing a very great job. He's very determined in his ways. Uh, we in Britain see him doing a lot for this country, the same as we're hoping that things are going in England. He's got a cool hairstyle. He's gorgeous and. Every time he gets on TV, he's looking for someone to have his baby, and I just wanted to take this moment to volunteer. <laughs> but there are some drawbacks to fame, as Pino Man's musical stature seems to have inspired obsessive behavior by his ever-growing fanatic following. Is he the future of rock and roll, or just another fruit with a guitar? Time will tell.